What's up, comic fam, comic fans, and welcome to the preview show. We're going to preview the comics coming out May 3rd, 2023. Some books will be May 2nd. Those will be the DC books for the shops that put out their DC books on a Tuesday. All right. Everyone else, pretty much a Wednesday. All right. So let's get into the books. We got spec books, spotlight books, FOC books. Those got to be in tonight, by the way. And um, the comics coming out this week right after this. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's get into the books. You know we do. If you like comics, you're in the place to be. First off, we're going to start off with the spec books. And we have Batman number 135, okay? What makes this a spec book? It is legacy issue number 900. It's oversized. It's got all the, the markings of whatever. It's got a ton of covers. There's going to be some stories in here, some new stuff. We're going to end some some runs, create some new new runs. It's just got all that stuff, all right? So, yeah, issue number 135, Legacy 900. Boom. Chip Zdarsky's writing it. It's cool. Next up, we got Cult of Misery, Cult of Carnage, Misery number one. And uh, why is this a spec book? Because we have a new character. We have Misery. Liz Allen is the mother of Normie Osborne. Who she is, blissfully unaware, is the all-new and all-deadly Red Goblin. But what Liz does know is that the Red Goblin has been active and has been very has been seen very close to her home. And after her late husband's father, Norman Osborne, maybe you've heard of him, gets pulled into the chaos and violence swirling around, Normie Liz has no choice but to use the resources at her disposal as head of Alchemax to take matters into her own hands and become something the Marvel Universe has never seen before. I don't know, guys. I've seen a lot of symbiotes, so I'm not going to, you know get too crazily excited about this but you got the first appearance of misery okay and there are some some covers there are a couple covers out for that and you do have a ryan stegman other variant so uh, he's going to do one for all these books that kind of um deal with all this uh cult of carnage stuff i guess and then uh, last but not least for the spec books, we have Edge of Spider-Verse, another Spider-Verse book. There are a ton of them. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. But you'll have the first appearance of Spider-Killer in this book. Um, also, it looks like according to the solicitations, uh, as well as introducing brand new spiders who will blow your mind. So there will be more spiders. Spiders on spiders on spiders with this one. All right, you got Spider Rex right there on the cover. You'll have Spider Killer in the book. And there's a couple of different covers. Peach Momoko cover. So cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's even a Spider Killer cover. He's right here. Let's see. Boom. That's, yeah, that's Spider Killer, at least on that cover. All right. So those are the spec books, guys. Let's move into the spotlight books. First off, we have Dawn of DC Adventures of Superman, John Kent. And this one, we're, they're just kind of bringing you into the world of Injustice. John Kent is on the world of Injustice. If you ever would have seen, if you ever have wanted to see a DC um, universe person from the original, you know, DC 1, in the Injustice universe. Well, here you go. This is your chance. This is the book. Moving on, we got Batman and Joker, the Deadly Duo, issue seven. This is the finale of this story. Uh, cool thing about this, well, it's another Joker versus the Batman book. All right, and the covers have been really good. The artwork has been really good. The story's been pretty good. So there you go. Those are your your spec books. Now we're at the final orders. All right, like as you see here, orders do. May 1st, 2023. So what do we got? Marvel Voices Pride. All right. This is a book right here. Um, brand new characters uh, in here. So this is definitely a book to look out if look out for if you're into new characters. 
uh, we got Green Arrow number two. All right, and this is the first appearance of Troublemaker, or the yeah, first appearance and first cover appearance of Troublemaker. That is a variant cover right there. All right, now let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week. We're going to start off with Image. And what do we have coming out of Image Comics? We've got some stuff. <laughs> We've got books. All right. Um, you got Department of Truth, Blood Tree, I Hate This Place, Junk Rabbit, issue number two. Yeah, some books. Radiant Black continues on. Walking Dead, now in color. Boom Studios, boom. Here comes the boom, ready or not. You got some Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You've got uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TMNT 2. This is a Dan Mora cover on the first one. And then you got a Eastman cover and all sorts of other covers. Uh, this is issue 5 of 5. So this second arc or second run is coming to an end. All right, you got the helmet cover if that's what you're looking for. Dark Horse. We're at Dark Horse. All right, what do you got? Um, we got some stuff. Matt Kent has Hairball number 2 coming out. You know, Dark Horse is hit or miss, but I've been lucky lucky so far with some of the Dark Horse books I've picked up. Survival number one is coming out. It's a new number one out of there. So if you're looking for a book with potential, maybe that's it. We are now at IDW Publishing and Dark Spaces by Scott Snyder as a trade. What else do we have? You got My Little Pony. Yeah, that's their Deep Space Nine for you Star Trek fans. And TMNT Yosagi Yojimbo number two. It's coming out. All right, we're at DC Comics, where we have that adventure, uh, Superman Adventures, or Adventures of Superman, John Kent, uh, issue number three. There are a ton of covers for this issue. A, B, C, a one in 25, a one in 50. All right, we're at Batman 900. Uh, Legacy number 900 or Batman 135. So many dope um, covers for this one, including Casada doing connecting covers. I'm not going to get both of them, but that's cool. This one is probably my favorite the Kale No cover. That one's pretty dope. Batman with all the Robins. So. I'll be keeping an eye out for that one. You do have uh, Batman facsimile number 181, all right, Poison Ivy, first appearance. And there is a blank cover for you con peeps who wanna, you know, get your own artist to, or your favorite artist to draw something on there. Batman, Joker, Deadly Duo, a couple of covers for that. That series is coming to an end with issue seven of seven. What else do we have? You got free comic book day books coming out this week, guys. So that's cool. Keep your uh, eye out to see what your local shop will be doing. A lot of them will have sales and specials during that day. Just try to get people to come in the door. And uh, it's a perfect time to, you know, grab some books at a discounted price. What else? We have another Peacemaker series coming out. This is uh, Peacemaker Tries Hard. All right. Some pretty cool covers uh, we'll, we'll click on the a cover you know he gets uh, it's another mission he's got to steal some DNA the world's most valuable and dangerous DNA but that's peacemaker always in some kind of predicament uh, poison ivy series continues on some cool covers including a 1 in 50 Jenny prison where else are we at he got some Shazam number one right that's a new series coming out new shazam series haven't heard a lot about it and uh we're off to marvel comics we're at marvel comics now and what do we got coming out of marvel comics you got carnage reigns alpha so and there'll be a uh other cover for that one so that's pretty cool uh sorry that's misery Carnage Reigns ends over here, so there will not be an alpha for that one. My bad. But anyway, you got Carnage Reigns number one. Alpha. 
Cletus Cassidy is back and better than ever with his soul trapped within the Extreme Beat armor created by Tony Stark during the King in Black. Cletus has the means to level an untold amount of chaos as well. Carnage on New York City and entire Marvel Universe. But like any good Tony Stark invention, the extremist coursing through Cletus symbiotic veins needs power. That means Cletus is hungry. Good thing Brooklyn's very own Spider-Man is there to stand in his way if he survives their first encounter, that is. All right, cool. So you got uh, Miles going up against Carnage in that one. Cool, 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 cool. Let's keep it going. You got some Peach Momoko, Demon Wars. Well, because you got the Edge of Spider-Verse number one. We talked about that as being a kind of spec book. What else? Groot has his own series and you got this cute peach momoko cover there you go what else you got uh mortal x-men is out you got joe fix it coming to an end with issue five of five moon knight it's got venom in it what else a couple of moon knight covers by the way uh, scarlet witch Got Spider-Man number eight. For those of you reading Spider-Man, there is a Rob Liefeld cover. Spider-Man 2099. I believe these are the first appearances of Carnage 2099. And there was another, I think there was another first appearance in that one. Will I remember before I have to move on or will we just move on? That is the question. Blade. 2099 carnage and blade 2099 in that one spider-man 2099 dark genesis marvel comics has star wars sorry guys stretching there it's been a long morning um this is issue number 34 i did not throw this in my spec pickups but for those of you who have listened to this part here's another spec pickup this has got a first cameo appearance all right so couple people have pointed it out as a um, spec book uh, as you can see I'm subscribed to it so I'm gonna grab that but yeah it is a spec book you got Darth Vader Darth Vader is uh, just cool the covers to Darth Vader have been awesome uh, Dr. Aphra is coming out I got that book I should just order uh, subscribe to Darth Vader too I don't know why I'm not um, but I do have a bunch of Vader books. And then you got Sons of X, uh, number one. This, uh, I think this has to deal with, like, you know, all the things that came out of Sins of Sinister. And there's a bunch of one-shots coming out. And this is, uh, this is one of them. But you got Legion in this book. So if you're a Legion fan, it's, uh, it's Legion versus Nimrod. All right. And Mother Righteous is also involved in this. So lots of, lots of stuff happening in that book. All right, we're at Dynamite, and what's what's happening in Dynamite? The world in Dynamite. This Barbarella. It's going to be a ton of covers, guys, for each book that comes out too. Uh, what else? You got some Darkwing Duck, like limited editions. Deja Thoris. Draculina. Again, this is always a lot of covers, and then Karma. That's a uh, hardcover edition. All right some diamond select toys coming out this week but we're at the rest of the books that's why we're here is for the books and what do we have coming out uh animal castle volume two number one is coming out that was hot for a, a hot minute with the first volume what else what else we got there's a lot of books there's always a lot of books you know and you you buy what you want if you see something you like grab it there's no reason not to just uh you know you don't have to listen to what other people say buy what you like uh where are we we're in the ages in the highs a lot of books a lot a lot of books there's also some uh some manga uh lamentation number one that has had some people talking uh, and that's a really cool cover. That's why I bring that one up. But I, I think it's just um, to number one limited print. 
and it's uh the story is like a group of actors are like they're basically uh, putting on a play but the play like changes around them and it's like horror it's all horror based it's it's a horror book so hey if you're looking for something lamentation number one might be worth uh dipping your toe in where else are we i don't know when the r's the s's we're almost there we're almost to the home home stretch thank you for joining me by the way comic fam comic fans i appreciate it i do appreciate it and it looks like we're at the end all right so that's the previews of the comics coming out this week thank you for joining me do what you do i'm gonna do what i do i'm gonna get ready for this week's books uh if you like the content don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell go ahead throw me a thumbs up and comment down below peace What's up, comic book fam? Comic books. All right, what's up, comic fam? Comic fans, and welcome to the preview show.